Three days ago, the delivery van reached Waving Battlefield near Whining Ayax's Mire. Journeying from the New Federation to Jinjo, it braved countless trials to arrive at its destination. But, alas, enough. Explain it in five words. Suspicious. Courier escaped. Package lost. You're the one who's in charge of this. Yes, but boss, I... Whatever you do, do it right. And do it clean. That's the Cruising Drake's principle. Finish what you started. Ah, low, low logistics. How despicable. Utterly insufferable. I shall reclaim the package myself. That much is clear. He better not be stirring up any trouble. No time to call the patrollers. Let's see what he's up to. I've already explained what happened. Just give me the package. Well, if you can't, I'll... I'll file a complaint with your manager. Don't worry. Lolo Logistics always takes care of its customers. We'll definitely get back to you within three business days. Three days? Well, what if it's broken or lost? Don't you know how serious the... Oh, if it's broken or lost, you can get a full refund. Plus, the shipping insurance you have covers it. So really, there's nothing to worry about. Well, if you say so. Well, come to think of it, Lalo Logistics has never missed a delivery. Well, in that case, I'll come back later. Hmm. Your service. Is there anything I can help you? You with? Oh, I know you. You're the Rover, a household name in Jinjo. Hiya, I'm Lumi, the logistics team's good old captain. I head up the delivery team. Do you have a package to send, or do you need something else? He's a regular customer. He might seem unfriendly, but he follows the rules. His package got lost in whining Ajax's mire. Speaking of that place, something strange is going on there lately. So be careful when you're there. Hmm? It's a bit complicated. The lost package is labelled as high value. My team member, Fu Lei, was supposed to deliver it. He mentioned seeing weird things in Whining Ayax's mire. Kind of like the stuff happening over in Tacit Fields. I checked it out later and asked around in the port. I didn't notice anything unusual looking around, but... But what? I'm not sure if it's related, but ever since I've returned from the Whining Ayax's Mire, I haven't had any dreams. We promise we deliver! We promise we deliver! Uh, it's my co-worker. Sorry. I need to take this call. Yes? What? She's back at work already. But she's injured. Okay. Please take care of her. Thanks. one of my team members. She crashed while delivering an express package. The doctor told her to rest, 
that she's already back to work. Hmm. I need to bring her back. She can't be pushing herself like this. I was planning to search Whining Ayax's mire again. But now? If you happen to be going in that direction, could you keep an eye out for that lost package? Amazing. Thank you so much. Leave it to me. What happened here? The Somnor Gateway must be just ahead. But why is it closed? Nobody's here. Just this cat. What's going on? Just know 
that even the great rover cannot stop me now. It's you. You've returned. Here, countless dreams rush in. These dreams, I no longer wish to have them, to remember anything. But I do remember things about you. You're the only one who can restore everything to its rightful place. That's what he said to me. Farewell, Dreamwalker. May your thoughts remain unclouded. What is this? I've never seen this in the Somnor before. I should look around for more information. This is a delivery checklist. The name signed here is Fule. The rest is smudged. Someone must have lost it here. <laughs> Some kind of fragment lodged between those rocks. Something from a delivery crate? This is probably where Fule lost the package. But where is it now? Discords are after her. Leave it to me. I sense your weakness. Make sure she gets back safely, help with the express order. Organize a welcome party for the new recruits. Work finished, best get moving. Too many tasks, too little time. Why can't she hear me? No, she's in danger. Leave it to me. Moment of resonance. The hour is upon us.
hour is upon us. The end has come. Sounds come forth. the package was lost nearby. Hmm, where is it? Oh, it's his delivery checklist. Oh, the paper's all smudged. Can't read a thing. Oh, this fragment is from the delivery container. Oh, where is the package? What if it's been damaged? Hmm, where could it be? Hopefully I'll find the clue ahead. Hmm, nothing here. Where did those tacit discords come from? Can't waste my time with them. You made it out at last. But why did those monsters stop chasing me? Oh, I keep getting sidetracked. Focus, Lumi. Think about what you're gonna do next. First, find the missing package. Second, make sure Tang Tang gets back safely and help with the express order. Third, organize a welcome party for the new recruits, get my own work finished. Let's get moving. Too many tasks, too little time. I'm their leader. Got to act the part. They're counting on me. Where Tang Tang crashed. 
I need to find her first. Fule's package can wait. Why are there tacit discords here? Where is Tang Tang? Is she... Me. I've been looking for you. Looking for me? I should be the one saying that. I heard you had an accident. A small scratch. No biggie. I was worried you might run into a tacit discord, so I came looking for you. Thanks. I'm fine. Let me help you with the delivery. It's okay. The address is around here somewhere. It won't take long. But you're hurt. You relax and let me handle it, all right? I can manage, really. You have your own tasks to do. I can even help you later when I'm done. It's my job to look out for you. That's what a team leader should do. I know, and you've been doing great. I just want to lighten the load. Oh, Tang Tang. Don't worry. I'll catch up with you after I finish this order. Okay. Thank you, Tang Tang. I mean it. And you, Rover. Do you know what? I had a dream just now. And guess what? You were in it. My team members were asking for help, but I couldn't get to them. I kept getting blocked or showing up too late. I was so worried and thinking that they might be disappointed or not need me anymore. But later, I managed to find a girl who'd got into an accident. I don't know how, but I felt like you were guiding me. Talking with her made me see how important it is to support each other. I help my team, and they help me right back. I think that's where I found the strength to escape that nightmare. I wouldn't have realized this without your help. Thank you so much.
Thanks a lot. Only a bit. Some noir breaks into world. My authority. Lost. Many places. Gateway open. Enter and fight. A sharp mind. You are smart. No energy left. Can't talk. Stop disaster. I trust you. Lumi hasn't had any dreams since visiting Winding Axe's mire. And the illusion I just saw of her. This abnormal somnoir seems to be trapping parts of people's consciousness in their dreams. If this has been going on for a while, Lumi might not be the only one trapped here. She dreams about her team, but what about the others? I need to find more clues. Master Georgia, uh, have you uh, made any plans for your next painting? If you don't paint, you can't earn. <laughs> you don't want to end up broke, do you? What about painting, uh, what was it called? Um, uh, uh, Winter's Serenade in Bloom? Oh, so what? Your client's preferences are what matter most. Uh, don't worry. Master Zhuzhen. I handpicked your clients and know them like the back of my hand. That painting was outstandingly popular. I would know. Trust me, this will be another bestseller. Of course. Take your time, Master Zhuzhen. Let me know when you've decided. <sighs> I need a walk now. Maybe I'll find some new inspiration. This place... It's all so beautiful. I have to capture it. Let me find the... The landscape looks great from this side. It's perfect for planning my painting. Waters and mountains rest by the pain. Valleys and peaks in the dream remain. The composition looks fine, but something's still missing. Maybe I should get closer to see the tiny details of the trees and rocks. should be close enough. Water lamp? Do vetch. Pearl leaf and bitberry. These vibrant plants harmonize exquisitely with the cold stones. Tacit discords like that here. Hmm. They do complete the scene I had in mind.
The details of the stones and trees. I got it. I can show this draft to my manager. Master Judge. Okay, uh, Master Judge. <laughs> uh, about the painting I mentioned last time. Ah, very well. Let's see. Uh, what? <laughs> What's this? Uh, Judge, you're a true master. Would a master present a client with a half-finished piece? Hmm? Your last painting sold for the highest price at auction. Give the people what they want. That's what I always say. You just need to paint it again, and I'll make sure it sells well. With all due respect, Master Zhuzha, not everyone will buy whatever you paint. Now, I've worked so hard to find a few clients who love your style. How can I sell your paintings if you can't cater to their needs? Please, just focus on recre... <laughs> I mean, creating tonight. I won't disturb you. I'll come and pick it up tomorrow. No more indulging your every creative whim, hmm? All I'm asking for is another winter serenade in bloom. I'm counting on you, Master Zhuzha. I have to make another copy. myself an artist then in their eyes am i only capable of copying my old work judge painted the first winter serenade in bloom. Yes. I saw flowers blooming in the middle of winter, and birds were circling around. We worked really hard on it. And that hard work should be noticed. Away, the painted world fades, forgotten today.
keep telling you your clients only want that one painting. Watering clouds, please. Don't be so stubborn, Judge. A painting that doesn't sell well is meaningless. I'm the artist, not just the brush. It's the soul I put into my paintings that makes people appreciate them. I was just dreaming. In that dream, I tried my best to paint something new, but no one seemed to like it. Instead, they just wanted more copies of my old stuff, treating me like some money machine. But you told me to trust myself. Thank you for supporting me. You don't have to call me master. Nice job. Perfect. Dreams cleansed. Power restored. I can talk now. Some noir is growing faster. If this keeps up, Solaris will be in danger. Walk through more gateways. Save people from dreams. Fight that person. I'm counting on you. Talking drains my energy. Need to rest now. From the looks of it, I'm probably the only one who can enter the Somnoir as I please. Besides that cat, the only other people here are the ones trapped in their dreams. I will be the one to help them escape. A long, long time ago, there was a brave warrior in the magical kingdom. Her name was Encore. One day, she met her good friend, Cloudy. Come on, Cloudy. Cloudy said she was a princess from a wonderful play. Everyone loved her performance. Then, out of nowhere, a big bad demon appeared. The big bad demon sent its minions to attack the magical kingdom. Everyone hid at home, and the stage was empty and quiet. Uh... Then, Warrior Encore stood up. 
up and said she would fight the big bad demon. To bring the crowd back, Cloudy, the great performer, also joined Encore's team. Not everyone in the Magical Kingdom was very nice. One day, Warrior Encore met Cosmos. There you go, Cosmos. I used to live in the Magical Kingdom, but I went on a big adventure far away. When I came back, no one knew me. And they wouldn't play with me. Huh, if you're not Cosmos's friend, I'll just go join the big bad demon and cause trouble. Really? That's so nice of you. <laughs> Sad little adventurer Cosmos was so moved by these words. A special friendship made him join Encore's team. With his brave heart, Cosmos decided to fight the big bad demon and save the magical kingdom with Encore. Encore and her friends marched to find the big bad demon. The sly demon sent its monster squad to try to stop them. But they were not afraid. Ha! Princess Cloudy and adventurer Cosmos used all their skills to support warrior Encore. In the end, Encore's super team took care of the monsters. But the Woolies got hurt. Leave me alone! Here comes Encore! To help them feel better, Warrior Encore climbed all the hills and swimmed all the rivers. She walked a long way and finally found the magic golden sprout. She picked it up carefully and... Ta-da! She made medicine that healed the Woolies. Then the super team marched on their way to fight the big bad demon. <gasps> the big bad demon sent more monsters to stop Encore. But every one of them was defeated by her super team. Their amazing feats made lots of people in the Magical Kingdom excited. More and more people wanted to join Encore's team. After careful picking by Warrior Encore, they chose the Candlestick Fairy, who breathes fire. Encore also picked Grey Ear the Rabbit, who can slice bread into 100 pieces, and the stool spirit who likes to zoom around on four legs. Then came Miss Clover, Uncle Broom, and Grandpa Cole. With more friends joining, Encore's team got bigger and stronger, becoming their super duper awesome team. It was time to fight the big bad demon. 
Gray Ear the Rabbit made yummy bread for everyone so they wouldn't fight on empty stomachs. Cloudy put on a show about a brave princess the night before to cheer everyone up. On the big battle day, Adventurer Cosmos led the super duper awesome team to dodge traps and face the big bad demon. They battled it out. The Clover Blue Wind, Grandpa Cole and the Candlestick Fairy made fire. Grayer the Rabbit held Uncle Broom and rolled the stool spirit to charge at the big bad demon. Everyone fought bravely. Uncle's team stopped his evil plan and brought peace back to the magical kingdom. Hmm. Oh. Well, you beat me today. But there'll always be more demons in this kingdom. Someone's gotta be the big bad demon. But why did you have to pick this path? Well, before I was big and bad, nobody paid any attention to me. Now they all fear me. But you could be a hero like me. Or me? <laughs> no, no, I can't. I don't have your bravery. More importantly, I don't have any friends. It's okay. Being a hero isn't just about fighting or going on adventures. Uncle Broom keeps the castle spotless. Candlestick Fairy keeps things bright. They don't need to be on my team to be heroic warriors. They already are. Just do your best at everything and have fun. That's how heroes do lots of cool stuff. Don't worry, you can do it too. Okay, the magical kingdom is now called the Warrior's Kingdom. Yes with a happy ever after ending. Hooray! I'll tell a new story next time. Just leave this all more? Why am I still here? Encore's not here. Did she leave already? Let me see if I can find another gateway.
gatekeeper. Who's the one beside him? Excuse me, sir. Is this all real? Are you the god of this realm? How did you get in? I don't know. I was supposed to be at my grandma's funeral. I was watching over her and lost track of time. The next moment, I was here. Maybe I fell asleep? A part of your consciousness entered Somnoir when you fell asleep. Somnoir? What's that? Some kind of Sonoro? No, but you can think of it that way. Well, just now, I met a girl around my age. She had the same name as Grandma. She lived in the same town, had a group of friends, and liked to catch dragonflies in the mountains. The only difference is, the temple that should be demolished by monsters was still there, east of the town. Grandma used to say that people would pay tribute to their ancestors in that temple every year. The ceremony would be as grand as the Moon Chasing Festival. As much as she loved that town, she never stopped wanting to explore the world outside it. Um, I heard the Sonoro Sphere can keep memories of people or even a place's history. Is that true? What I saw just now, is it real? Is that girl my grandma? My apologies, but I cannot answer that. Can I come here again? No. What happens when I wake up? Will this place and my memory of it disappear? Everything you saw here will be erased, except your memory. That I have no control over. That's a relief. Thank you, kind sir. That's given me some hope. In my memories, Grandma always took care of everyone in the family. She raised her children and they left home, then her grandchildren, repeating this cycle her entire life in that old house. I always wanted to travel, but I couldn't bear to leave Grandma alone. This dream showed me a different side of her. She was once a young girl with dreams just like me. She dreamed of traveling, meeting new people, and starting a family. Now I feel grateful to be part of such a family, and even more grateful to have this side of Grandma live on in my memories. I used to think she was old and lonely, but she really glowed with her hopes and dreams. Thank you, sir. Thank you for showing me this. That happened in the past. I was looking at their illusions. The gatekeeper showed this to me. What is he trying to tell me? Please leave the Somme Noir. Data from the last phase will be deleted. Repeat. Data from the last phase will be deleted. It's about to collapse. Better leave now. It has been some time, hasn't it? I already told you the first time we met. Somnoir is unstable. It isn't. It's due to Somnoir's innate design. Tell me, what do you think Somnoir was created for? It appears so, but the answer is something more fundamental. Such a large and complex creation is necessary to save a world torn apart by the Lament. The dreams it stores contain countless possibilities. Millions upon millions of dreams converge in Somnoir. Perhaps within one lies the key to vanquishing the Lament 
It may not be the most efficient or practical strategy, but even as a mere spark of hope, I believe it's worth pursuing with all the power I have. They're closely connected to you, but that's not important right now. One day, you'll find out who they are. Compared to you, who is of immense significance to them, I am just a tool they created to get rid of useless data. Every day, people dream that Somnoir's capacity is finite. Dreams that don't aid in defeating the Lament are deemed worthless. My duty is to erase them, like a heartless executioner. By this reasoning, the two dreams you just witnessed should also be erased. They offer no solution to save our world. What do you think? Are they useless? Indeed, those dreams are truly precious. They deserve to be remembered. Somnoir has tens of millions of gateways that lead to numerous realms. But it's still too small compared to Solaris. I need more space to store these precious dreams and memories. Those gateways that appeared by the Winding Axe's mire. It's all because of you. Yes, those places will become part of Somnoir, to merge with the other dreams. Just think of it. They will be forever saved and remembered. Not every dream holds the key to saving the world. Most are personal, trivial, even selfish. But still, they should not be erased. People may eventually forget them, but Sam Noir won't. You saw that girl, and how deeply she felt about her dream. It holds significance. Tell me, have you ever erased another's dreams? Their memories? Please leave the Sam Noir. Data from the last phase will be deleted. Repeat. Data from the last phase will be deleted. For millennia, I've been doing this tirelessly. Those dreams and I are no different in nature. Yet I've done nothing but extinguish them. I don't expect you to understand me. We're not in the same position. Just know that even the Great Rover cannot stop me now! This realm is about to collapse. I need to wrap this up quickly and get out of here. Are you ready for Encore's new story? <coughs> it goes like this. A long, long time ago, there was a cloud kingdom where the amazing warrior Encore lived. Then she met you, Traveler Cosmos, Prince Cloudy, 
and many more new friends. Together, they defeated the Dark Cloud Demon. You're in the story this time. That makes a big difference. I'll tell you a new story next time. Don't you worry about that. It's you, that person. He's awake. Black Cat. He's formidable. My power limited again. Stop him, Dreamwalker. So tired. Must rest. The cat's weaker than last time. What's worse, the gatekeeper said the expansion is accelerating. I have to stop it before it's too late. Copy. Got an emergency for you to handle. We need you to infiltrate the Blue Camel and get their latest transaction records. Remember, don't get caught, or they'll destroy the evidence. Infiltration? Hmm. I'll need to suit up right. Gotta sever communications at their camp first. Can't have them calling for backup. This outfit should do the trick. That's their hideout. Time to find a discreet spot to change. This is it. Need to send it back ASAP. Better hang on to this outfit in case I run into the guards. Hey, what's that you're holding? Open it. We need to check what's inside. We've had reports about exiles conducting illegal business recently. Red Eagle needs this. I can't let them search the box. I confess, sir. This is proof of their crimes. I can't stand their dirty deeds anymore, so I'm taking this to the Public Security Bureau myself. If you don't trust me, you can come along. Well, it's good that you want to bring them to justice. All right, I'll escort her to the Bureau. The rest of you, resume your duties.
What happened? Huh? Why are they all lying on the ground? No injuries. Looks like they just passed out. They'll wake at any moment. I need to get the evidence back to him. This place... Something feels wrong. I need to be on my guard. I've told you before not to come barging in here. Something unexpected happened during the mission. This'll be safer with you. What's this? You attack the patrollers? For this? You've been fooled. I never gave you such an order. Can't you spot a fake transmission? You've disappointed me, Yin Lin. Was the intel false? Or did someone impersonate him when they contacted me? Blaming me won't make any difference. I need to get to the bottom of this. Give me some time. I'll figure it out. I've been waiting for you, Yin Lin. You? Why are you here? You were once part of the Seance Society, until you betrayed me. Now, answer me. Who are you? That's right, Yin Lin. That's who you are. And you don't belong anywhere. No one will ever accept you or see your worth. You're nothing. I'm... nobody. Yin Lin, do you copy? Got an emergency for you to handle. We need you to infiltrate the Blue Camel and get their latest transaction records. Remember, don't get caught, or they'll destroy the evidence. What is this? Time's rewound to the start of the mission. That's... me. No. I have to stop this. How can any of this be possible? Yinlen, calm down. No, everything's fine. He's the mole in the Public Security Bureau. You did nothing wrong. No, you knew it all along. Just not in this place. The mission was a success. You caught the mole and put an end to the Blue Camel's dealings. As for the patrollers, you never attacked them. No, you've always been cautious. 
You're just too afraid of making mistakes. That's why you dream these things. You've only ever had yourself to rely on. But still, you never waver. Think about that question again. Who are you really? I do want others to trust me, but my priority is making sure justice is served. When I found myself in doubt, you helped me find myself again. Thank you. I like knowing someone has faith in me. Talk again. Power grows. Strong enough to fight him. Next time, I will talk even better. Help me. Too much sleep. This is the last time.
Interesting. It reminds me of the Hong Jin in my memories. In that year, a peculiar incident occurred. A parent lost their only child, and despite extensive searches around Mount Firmament, no trace of the missing boy was discovered. Please, help us find our son. We were having lunch together just two days ago. Later I went up the mountain to fetch some spring water. When I got back, he was gone. She said Jing was out playing with his friends, but he never came home. I've been worried sick ever since, unable to eat or sleep. Jing, where are you now? Jing! My poor boy! Please come back home! Yes. Jing had been increasingly withdrawn, preferring to stay home. He stopped playing with his friends. But that day, he said he wanted to play with them. It seemed odd, so I asked those kids later, but... None of them had seen Jing. Oh, how can I go on without my Jing? Guests of the Uncommon. The boy's clothes since his infancy are neatly folded, except for his pajamas. Hmm. The board is set, but the final move is yet to be made. Guests of the unkind do not believe Jones. Do not believe Jones. Mind's eye. Mind's eye.
Did you find Jing? Where is he? Please tell me! What? No! My child! Who did this? Why would someone do this? What are you talking about? I don't understand. How did you find out? My blade joins. Mind on. They burn power. Guess it is the unkind. Make it fast. Oh, a defensive move? Not bad. But the game is already finished. You don't seem surprised to see me. How did you know they killed Jean? No child would go out in thin pajamas in such freezing conditions. So you realized it was orchestrated by the Fraxidus? You know this is a dream, right? Then why didn't you try to escape? To win a game, you must first play it. Besides, Someone who knows they're dreaming is more dangerous, don't you think? Making yourself part of the game. That's something you do. I need you right now, Chung Li. So, are you interested in the details of that case? Back then, 
The Fraxidus killed Jing and his parents under the cover of night. They then posed as Jing's parents and lay in wait until Xing Yi figured it out. But instead of exposing them right away, she played along, biding her time. After two weeks, the Fraxidus couldn't restrain themselves any longer. They used the pretense of searching for their lost boy to scout out Mount Firmament. Of course, Xing Yi was prepared for this. She used the opportunity to expose them in the act and capture them. I'd say your strategy is no less impressive than hers. Though our enemy's identity remains unclear, I'll support you, come what may. talk in full sentences yeah yeah try to meow or speak three words yourself you don't want to know how it feels anyway we're down to our last gateway once you rescue the last person from their dream I can finally balance my control over some noir with the gatekeepers that's when we can launch our final attack Don't treat me like a cat. Is this real or just another dream? <laughs> if it's a dream, it better be juicy. Huh, he's here too. Wait for me to catch you. <laughs> the lovely smell of all the meal is always the one you've worked hardest to catch. and come play with me. Let's not waste our precious time. Ugh, what a bother! Why does the Black Shores keep dumping these dull missions on me? This doesn't satisfy me at all. Disappeared again! Boring, boring, boring! I hate boring! The lovely smell of all my play. Good thrill. But it's so hard to find one that meets my standards. Some have potential, but they're still too dull. Only you can really get my heart racing. Keep dancing! Impossible. 
bull. I remember the way you fought. Your blade's strong enough to sever the air itself. Powerful, beautiful, intoxicating. Ah! My head, it hurts. No, that's not you. Is that... Camellia? She needs help. I need to go to her quick. Endure and defy. Shadow fall. Leave it to me. Too slow. Faster. Leave it to me. Nowhere to hide. right that thing couldn't be you you always exceed my expectations I know after all you're the one I've chosen my beloved seed while I crave your sweet words a part of me craves the thrill of hunting you down. Oh, is that an invitation? You do know how to please me.
if I really have the chance to kill you. Taking your life won't be easy. Not with all the strong foes you've defeated. Unless, of course, you step willingly onto my blade. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'd never force you into anything. No fun in that. Your potential, your desires, your ambitions. They're what truly excite me. But you know what's the icing on the cake? It's how you look into my eyes when you talk about these things. Perhaps one day I'll whisk you away to a hidden land where you'll be mine and mine alone. in the Somme Noir are prepared for the final battle. Once you're set, we'll be ready to face the one responsible for all this. Let's repair the Somme Noir and shut down his mischief for good. All set? It's time to fight! Here we come, big bad demon! I'll give this show a grand finale. If I can help then, I'll... I'll do my best. It's time to end this charade. Oh, to dance alongside you in battle. I can't wait any longer. Now, give me your battle cry. We promise, we deliver. Not that one. It should be, let's go save the world again. Noir has tens of millions of gateways that lead to numerous realms. But it's still too small compared to Solaris. I need more space to store these precious dreams and memories. Just know that even the Great Rover cannot stop me now! Leave it to me. You will never understand the meaning of dreams! It's our current call. 
finale. Rend this slumber. This power. I can feel everyone's support. Whisper. Finale. Rend this slumber. Shadow descent. One of the sounds. Down with the curtain. Shall whisper. Nightmare, break asunder. Leave it to me.
shall whisper. Together, we will we'll usher in the dawn. Endure and defy. Down with curtain. This is a dream, then what happened here isn't real. Maybe a bit, but you know what? My team always has my back, dream or not. Even in a dream, the friendship felt so real. Thank you. It was your support that kept me going. So come find me in reality. I'll be waiting for you. <sighs> this is the end of our adventure. In this story, the Ten Warriors defeated the Black Cat Demon. Not true! Cosmos, Cloudy, and the White Cat were also part of our team. Of course they count. We are all brave warriors. And the Grape Kingdom is where the next adventure begins. No problem. Hmm. Uh, maybe the White Cat can be the bad guy next time. Thanks for your help. I couldn't have finished that draft without you. I still find myself swayed by my doubts. Painting, for me, isn't just in the finished piece. It's the only place I can let my emotions out. When I worked on that Xiehua village piece, I felt like I was capturing the very essence of life around me. Thanks to you, 
I felt bold enough to capture those fleeting moments. I really need to be truer to myself. Hey, could you visit me when you wake up? I want to show you my painting. Okay. I'll be waiting for you. Oh, thought you'd already left. The crisis is over. Why are you still hanging around? Outside, more dirt's getting swept under the rug. I'm ready to get back. But there is still one thing that's nagging at me. You. When I screwed up, you had my back. But hey, dream talk. Who's to say what's real? Not like I screw up in real life. <laughs> is that right? Prove it to me in the real world then. a dream is. I realized this was a dream through careful observation. It's often that same keen observation that reveals the deepest truths. Have you ever considered how someone with lost memories might confuse a dream with reality? Perhaps paying closer attention to your surroundings could bring you closer to understanding the true nature of reality. It's just a theory. I could be mistaken. But when I found myself in Hong Zhen in my dream, my mind was a blank slate. I knew where I was, but I had no idea why and for what purpose. I suspect you experienced something similar upon awakening in the gorges of spirits. Yes. I would advise you to pay close attention to the subtleties around you. If you've learned something from this dream, then it wasn't for nothing. leave me again but I'm actually quite content here this is our arena look at all this so much room for the chase then why not stay a bit longer it's not all that different from reality if you really think about it Well, what a shame. But waking up isn't so terrible. After all, you never fail to keep things interesting in reality. Mission complete. Well done. No, he's just lost some control over the Somme Noir. It won't be long before he tries to take it back. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye on him. Hmm. If things get serious, I can call on you again, can't I? By the way, did you have something you wanted to ask? Its creation may not be the work of one person. At any rate, I can't say much more about it right now. Because you, or maybe your past self, told me to keep it hush-hush. If I were to tell you why, well, that's already saying too much. What I can tell you is, you're the Dreamwalker. The only one who can come and go in some noir as you please. You've got control over me, this gateway, 
and that sneaky black cat. Basically, you're the only one who can see this gateway and all the anomalies it causes. By the way, did you have something you wanted to ask? This is what happens when some noir expands into reality. The black cat turned off some noir's filters, so it started copying every dream in Solaris. To store all those dreams, he opened more gateways that started to leech into reality. The dreams you just went through are from folks who got stuck in some noir by accident. But since you control these gateways, you can help them escape. By the way, did you have something you wanted to ask? When they wake up, all they'll have is a vague feeling of what happened. Just like a real dream, hmm? I can finally go back through the gateway I came from, and you... It's time for you to wake up. over there next to the train. Delivered by Fule. This is the lost package. How did I not notice it before? I should give it to Lumi. It's already been three days, and my package is still... I'm terribly sorry, but could you please... Oh! Oh my! This is your package, sir. Huh? Well, let me check. Let me check. Huh. Wait! Look at this! It's damaged! Don't expect me to accept a damaged package. This is unacceptable. This is our fault. Please accept my sincere apologies. We will compensate you for your loss. I don't want your compensation. I want my package in one piece. Do you have any idea how important this is? Ah, the rover himself. B -b oh, the boss. <laughs> Well, why are you here in person? <laughs> I'm just, um... Silence. No need for compensation. The contents are still intact. We'll pay you the delivery fee. Did you retrieve this package yourself from the Waving Battlefield? I'm Tian Hu, leader of the Cruising Drake. The package is secure, and we won't give you any more hassle. In fact, I wouldn't mind getting to know you better. Not in that way, of course. I heard you took down that beast at Norfolk Barrens. The wilds have been quieter since then, which means more opportunities for folks like us. We're in need of skilled individuals like yourself more than ever. You'd fit right in. Think about joining us one day? Cruising Drake always welcomes the best of the best. Hey, wait up, boss! Why do you always have to walk off like that after talking? <laughs> Shut it! It's about showing our style and drawing in new blood. Pipe down. So, it's done? Thank you so, so, so much for helping me find the lost package. Huh. Why the sudden silence? Oh no, what is it? That 
That's, uh, interesting. Didn't know you had such an imagination. Just like what the white cat said. Only I can see these things. By the way, you won't believe what happened last night. I had a dream! Can't quite remember the details, but it felt sweet! My co-workers said they had a similar dream. Maybe I managed to tell them how much I care about them in that dream. Lumi, Luminary of Logistics. Oh no, just got a rush order. Let me give you the payment first. Again, thanks a bunch for your help. If you ever swing by my hometown, Yojo, I'll treat you to some local delicacies. We promise we deliver. We promise we deliver. Got it, got it. Sorry, got to dash. Catch you later. Bye! Shadow descends.